Hey friends, Donna here. It's Monday and I have a grocery haul for you today. I ran to Publix this morning. I honestly didn't need to go grocery shopping. Between what I have in the pantry and the fridge and the freezer, I really could make do. There's just two of us. I'm cooking for two. But today was a good day for me to get out, so I went out and it's just better for me to take advantage of those moments so I am well stocked up for those days or weeks when I just really can't get out. So I went to Publix and I spent $110, $109.90 to be exact. And I tell you what, it didn't get a whole lot, but it's plenty for us, but it is, I mean, grocery prices just seem to continue to rise. So let me show you what I got. We'll start with Athena cantaloupe. This is my favorite summertime treat is watermelon and cantaloupe. These cantaloupes are just the best. They're usually so sweet and juicy. So got that. Lots of potassium, vitamin C, yummy. Chiquita bananas and I'm here to say my husband's bananas. He has one every morning whether he needs it or not. He's in a routine. It's good. It's good for him. I got a small bag of potatoes for a recipe I'm going to be sharing. And I got some Publix butter and I don't know why I picked up butter because I did not need butter. I realized when I got home I have plenty of butter, so, all right. I guess they say more butter, the better, right? More butter, the better? Yeah, more butter, the better. More, yeah, I don't know. I got some boar's head pepperoni for our pizzas. Boar's head is more expensive. This was like $4.89 on sale from $5.19. <laughs> um, it's a treat. I just like it. It's good. So, and we like our pizzas. They had these Angel Sweet Tomatoes on sale, $2 each, so I got two of these. We put these on the salads, and sometimes I just snack on them. And I like to also do like cut up cucumbers, tomatoes, and olives, and then Italian dressing. That's yummy. We got that. We got some romaine lettuce for the salads. I also picked up some fresh basil. I love basil so much. It just you know, just even smelling basil just lifts my spirits and love it. So I put that on sandwiches, tomato sauces, whatever. I got my husband his unsalted, boring saltine crackers. He's a very boring eater. He loves those. They had Bay's English muffins, two for $6. So $3 a pack for these is actually a good deal around here. Um, We'll make, you know, sometimes just a simple egg, cheese, and English muffin sandwich at night is a simple dinner, quick dinner. It works for us. So we got those. And also we love to make um, English muffin pizzas for like children, right? Isn't that like a child's treat? I don't know. But we'll do that. They had these brown and serve sausages. I know these aren't good for us, but they were a dollar each. So... Another quick, easy dinner, breakfast for dinner meal, sausage, a couple eggs, some biscuits or English muffins, whatever. That'd be easy. I did get a, sorry if this is too crinkly, too loud, I'm sorry. I did get a whole chicken. It was $11.28. And I'll share with you my favorite home style rotisserie chicken recipe. It's so good. I've been making it since the 90s. I love it. Comes out so yummy. I also got a pack of chicken breasts. There are six portion sized in here. So it's $10, but again, cooking for two. So that's three meals in there for us, one each. And I figure it's healthy. And then we go to the unhealthy onion rings because we love onion rings. I think these were like $6.50 each. And you don't get that many in here. But we like these with hamburgers. I still have some old um, protein-based burgers. And we really didn't care for them too much. But I think if I doctor them up enough, put on like some 
bacon, some bacon jam, and an onion ring on there, some cheese. It'll taste good enough. We also got some french fries. This was like $5.50 and that will last us a couple meals anyhow. Got a large thing of tuna. I'll be making a recipe with that. I do try to watch my carbs when I can, where I can, especially over the summertime. And these I have found to be so good. These are zero net carbs, little fajitas. Can you see them? They are good. They make good little sandwiches, little pizzas, little whatever. And fry them up even, make a little chip. Got some peas, because I thought we needed some peas. I don't know if we do. They had um, zucchini, I think it was $2.99 for this pack. So we can make some, maybe zucchini parmesan or zucchini noodles, zoodles. I don't know which one to make. Or we could maybe do a little of both. Take two for the Parmesan and two for the zoodles with some meat sauce. And easy and expensive meal. I got a bottle of um, chemicals for myself. The zero sugar chocolate caramel coffee creamer. I know this is so unhealthy for me. I know, I know. Speaking of unhealthy, I got myself a treat and the first time I purchased this I made a mistake and ate the whole bag because it says on it it's sugar-free made with stevia right can you see where it says that it's a lot well it's not really a lie but come on be honest here mr. Russell Stover first ingredient is maltitol so if you are familiar with maltitol you know the problem with eating the whole package of this yeah got a bag of noodles for a recipe i'll be sharing got some chicken broth i purchased some swerve sugar so when i'm not baking with regular sugar i'll use swerve if i'm doing a low carb kind of dessert sometimes i do use splenda i make an almond cookie with splenda but i know that splenda is really not good for us but i still i still use it sometimes so is that it is that all i got for 110 dollars? i mean i can make a lot out of that so you know praise god i am grateful but still it just seems so crazy isn't it let me see i make sure i didn't miss anything nope that's it that's all we got. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you watched all the way through. If you did, say hi. And um, I will be participating soon in the open collab that y'all are doing with the, the coloring and um, budget meal ideas. I love it. I just, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I love the idea of the coloring. So I went and dug out um, my coloring pencils and I even purchased a new coloring book that I will share um, again this channel is just whatever I do probably do more food related things but yeah so I'll be cooking this week hopefully hopefully prayerfully God willing I will be doing some cooking and sharing what I make with you all and so yeah I'm looking forward to watching your videos thanks for sharing my grocery haul with me and have a great week, everyone. Bye.